So I'm over here trying to, uh, to prepare this trailer. I'm not that worried about the rust and I'm not that worried. I'm not trying to get down to bare metal. I just want to get it so that the paint's going to stick to it. I got, I'm going to paint it with this SEM Rush Shield. So it'll take care of all the rust, but I want to make sure that it's going to stick. And this diamond plate's really kind of nasty because, you know, trying to get it scratched up in all the grooves. See, it's still shiny over here. But over in this area, I hit it with a water, water um, pressure washer with some sand blasting going on. You can see the sand on the ground over here. Basically, I got a pretty decent compressor up there in the garage up there with a, with a big tank. Uh, actually, the compressor's got its own tank, and then there's another big tank that's probably that big, and I'm actually going through a refrigerated dryer to dry the air. So basically, what's going on, here's an old Harbor Freight um, sandblaster, and this is not science, this is not uh, uh, technique. I, all I know is that when I was up there at the, at the high point trying to use the wand, the, the, the sand is not going to get siphoned up with that little stupid wand. I even tried to put the wand, or I tried to put the bucket on top of the tire and I wasn't getting good results. So I decided to drag this thing out. And basically, all I've got is the amount of sand coming out the nozzle if I put air pressure here. So as soon as I put air here, there's going to be constant sand coming out the end of this nozzle over here. Okay. And then I'll start my, I'll start my uh, pressure washer and um, then I can add water to it. So first thing I'm gonna do is start the pressure washer here. Let me see here, where are we gonna pull it? Over here. Okay. So you can see if somebody wanted to get it down to bare metal, they could. Okay. Um, and basically, I'm just not trying to do that. All I want to do is have it so the paint's going to stick to it. So there's no need for me to go through bags and bags of cement. It's hours and hours trying to get it sandblasted right down to the metal because it's a utility trailer. I just want to put paint on it. I want it to stick. And that's it. Because obviously, if you come and you look at other areas where I have it, it's wet now, so it's hard to tell, but it's still shiny, and I'm afraid the paint would not stick over here. So that's the goal. So anyway, hope this video helps, and have a good day. So here's this trailer. I wet sandblasted it oh, some time ago, and the weather's been kind of crappy. Well, yesterday I pressure washed it again with a zero rotating, degree, zero degree rotating nozzle, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray it here today going to use this SEM product called uh, Rust Shield. SEM Rust Shield. I'm certainly going to put that on the bottom. I'm going to put it on the top also. It's really hot out here today. It's going to be like over 90 in the afternoon. It's already 11 o'clock. It's high humidity. But I got to get this thing painted. I just can't wait forever. <clears throat> okay, so here's this car trailer. I got uh, two or three coats of SEM Rush Shield, which almost dries instantly. 
certainly it flashes fast and I followed it up with a wet coat of Rust-Oleum. Uh, the SEM, they specifically state, is not um, good for UV, even though the bottom of the trailer isn't going to have UV rays, I thought. Since I had some extra Rust-Oleum at the time, and since the SEM was kind of flat, I just thought I would go ahead and spray the bottom with some Rust-Oleum also. So basically, here's the bottom of the trailer. Okay, I didn't worry about the axles. I've got some new axles that are going to be coming soon. Here is the top side of the trailer. I'm not that concerned with perfection. Okay, I was concerned with simply getting a good preventative, something that's going to keep this trailer looking nice because it's a 2015 trailer. It's now 2021. Uh, it's been, there was some areas that I was concerned with, especially underneath. The underneath never had good paint on it from the day it came, since the day I bought it. But look at this now, huh? Pretty darn nice. I had issues over here. This has been pitted over here. Okay, there was some rust that was taking place on the back of the trailer. And I wanted to get that coated. Also on the inside of the back. We got all up in here, this back rail, you can see the pitting and stuff. And that's what's the concern was that I knew that I wanted to get this trailer coated so that it wasn't gonna continue to deteriorate because the steel is still very strong. And I want this trailer to last me a long time or whoever's gonna own it. So very pleased with the outcome. The vendors, I have not gotten to yet. Okay, I have my everything I could deal with. I did uh, sandblast these or, or wet blast them and obviously there's some there's some rust that took place over here and deteriorated some of the metal. I'm gonna go ahead and paint these. The insides, I don't know if you can see way back there, let's see, cause it's kinda in the back. The inside of the fenders is definitely got some rust on it. Um, as mentioned, I didn't do anything with this yesterday because it was so hot. And also I still need to finish the ramps. But uh, I need to get this, uh, this trailer back lying flat. And I figure this is an easy job for another day is to be able to just go ahead and get some SEM. I have enough left. I've got almost a gallon left. And then go ahead and put that uh, some more of that Rust-Oleum on top. So anyway, that's the project. Just wanted to give an update.